Welcome back guys to another beer review. You're watching all the beer no idea. I'm Baz. Uh, what we got coming up now? Another beer review, obviously. Uh, this time we got one that I picked up from Lidl's today. This was from their sort of craft beer range that started about two weeks ago, but where I live obviously still some left. And it's from William Brothers in Scotland. And this is a bottle of their Double Joker, which is a double IPA coming in at 8.3% in a 330ml bottle. Uh, coming at £1.29 from Lidl's, so I think that's a bargain. So, let's get going. There we go, there's the label. I'm not sure if that's supposed to go that way. That way I'm going to guess it's supposed to go. I do like that. I do like the little branding as well. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get this open, get it into a glass, see what we get. Hope you're all well. I am going to be watching Sheffield United in a bit. I'm going to watch them play uh, Birmingham, see how we get on. So, here you're going in a glass. I tried their, uh, the original Joker, which was a standard IPA coming in at 5%, I believe it was. Very nice indeed, I did enjoy that one. So, I'm hoping this is gonna follow suit and be another decent one. So, we'll put the ball there, in a glass. It is well chilled, this. It does have a slight haze, I'm not so sure if that's a chill haze or there is a bit of haziness there. Gentle carbonation going up the glass. Golden sort of colour. Finger of compact, quite compact head on top. So let's dive in on the nose. See what we get. Bit grapefruity. Malty. Hoppy. You do get a an inkling of that sort of percentage in the nose. Not not over the top, but you can tell it's a bit a bit stronger. But yeah, that's about it really. Hoppy, grapefruit, a little bit of sort of nettly maybe as well. Stinging nettle sort of thing in there. But smells all right, so without further ado, let's dive in. Cheers everyone. Mm. Yeah. That's got a bit more beef about it. Body on it. It is quite heavy body on it. Not, not over heavy, but it is quite a heavy body on it. Nice carbonation. For me, that carbonation is perfect. Not too much. Nothing there to make it interesting. Doesn't ruin the mouthfeel. Nice and smooth to drink. So it's looking good so far. So let's dive in on the taste and give you some tasting notes. Malty. Hoppy. I'll take the, the first thing is you get that malt. Grapefruit comes in. Then you get a bit of the hop, hop sort of taste coming in. And on the back end, which I've been having for about three seconds now, three, four seconds, you're getting that bitterness. And the bitterness gets a little bit stronger and a little bit stronger and a bit stronger. It sort of teases you at first and then starts getting even more bitter on the back end. Definitely feel a sort of citrus and mango in there as well. Probably the citrus and mango is sort of starting to come through more really than the grapefruit. It's maybe even actually malty. Citrus, mango, grapefruit with the bitterness. But it's drinking, and you know, it's 8.3%. I think it drinks pretty good for 8.3%. Yeah, you know, it's stronger. No burning or nothing though. You just get a big sort of citrus mango sort of. I think the big citrus sort of mango thing sort of takes over. And with that little bit of sort of sweetness in there hides the percentage, hides maybe some of the bitterness as well. Uh, but for me, that's a nice little drop that is. William Brothers Double Joker, double IPA, 8.3%. That is a decent drop. I like that. And I, I would, to be honest, if I didn't have all my machines and all these other cans to do, I'd be popping down bloody uh, Lidl's and picking up quite a few of them because that's, that's decent. So uh, yeah, for me, well worth picking up. If you've had this before, let me know what you think. 
Feel free to comment, like and share the video, subscribe to the channel as I always say. I'm three away from the 1,300 subs. Give us a sub if you want to. You don't have to, obviously. Doesn't cost anything either. So uh, that's it for this beer review. Thank you all for watching and enjoy your Saturday night. Cheers.